Today we are bunny cooping making it up. a bunny coop, and we were going to do just eight feet because this would have been this would have been eight feet. If you went like this, that would be eight feet, and then we wanted to go at least sixteen feet. Right, babe? Yep. So. We want to get it just a little bit longer so the kids can get in there and play around and run around and stuff. Plus, you know, they're bunnies, right? So, so we're going to get started on this project. Okay, so the way we're doing this is we're going to have about a foot on each end that is just for digging. You'll see as we go on to this that, that we're going to be doing a lot more than just adding this for security. You guys remember the chicken coop, how crazy we got with that. Well, we're going to armor up the, the bunny coop as well. And it's pretty easy and it's pretty affordable to do, so just stick around. What you doing, Ellie? Are you hammering? Mm -hmm. Good job. Build the coop. Make it strong. No escape for all. <laughs> Good job, Charlie. Way to use the hummer. That's right. Free labor. What were you saying over there? You got what, Drew? You got some nails? Well, good. You'll be the supply runner. <laughs> I wanted to share with you guys something real quick. That most folks don't talk about things like this when they're building stuff. I'm using you, uh, you nails to secure this. I've already done staples. It's just to hold it in place while I work. And the you nails and the type of hammers. Thanks, Charlie. The type of hammers you want to use. You'll see. Uh, you know, commonly, someone just uses a standard hammer that has really no surface uh, to grab at all. It's nice and smooth right there, right? And then you want to use something more aggressive, something for carpentry. And like this one here has like the magnetic point. I can't use the nails for this, but it's just, I'm just giving you a little demonstration there, but you put a standard nail in there, drive it in, and then you can finish it up, finish the job with this. But you want something that's more aggressive on the head because kind of like when you drive one of these in I'm just gonna put one right here I just want to set one in there real quick I'm not gonna drive it in yet I just want to show you it's kind of like you're gonna be doing this for a while because it's just sliding see that it's just sliding all over the place it's got that smooth surface and then something like this it's really aggressive bites every angle of that and you can drive it in a whole lot easier than with that other hammer. King Kong! So, something like this is a little bit better to have in your toolbox.
rain I'm, i want to make sure i show you all this before i wrap it up uh we worked late into the night doing this stuff and i know it's, it's like alice in wonderland right you see that uh, this is uh i kept the same routine i did the v style pattern for the door and then standard latch like i usually do it's just a quick latch so when the if the kids are getting in and out of here and they, they run off, then they, the door shuts. And then you can reach through the hole and unlock it. I need to put a pull string in there for that. And up here's my hardcore spring like I used before. And let's just get in here. Turn you sideways here. Just did a standard clear. This is the cheapest one. It's like 15 bucks. You just cut it in half, four foot, four foot because we did once again four foot wide for our, uh, for our box. The camo colors, this is, you know, for the kids, but also for meat, for, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, one of the bunnies is going to go missing, right, at some point. I've got a, up here's the ramp. You'll bring the ramp down. This ramp will attach to here once this is open. And in here, I have a shelf for them to rest on. There's the, some more checkered pattern, obviously. But it's just easier to clean when you put stuff like that. This goes here, and it'll look something like that. And real simple design. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm probably going to go ahead, since it looks like it's going to rain, I'm going to go ahead and shove that in there. And the wife can dig that out later. But this will shut locked tight nice and sealed and there's no way anything's getting in and out of there for here you just simply screw your pvc pipe down and once you get it like this it's pretty solid it's not going anywhere we did zip zip ties temporarily and we've already started doing the bailing wire as you can see it takes time to finish all the bailing wire we did quite a bit of it and we didn't get finished Back here is going to be the flower bed to slash uh, bunny food. And we didn't want to put it on top of them because we knew that we would probably end up uh, uh, using it. But the whole floor is wired. So basically, I'm in a Faraday cage right now. <laughs> in reality, right? So basically, you're in a Faraday cage. This is, uh, it's all metal 
everything is this is thick 16 gauge 16 gauge that's all 16 gauge this is the only spot that i didn't have any extra 16 gauge to use uh for the bunnies but this multi-layered so there's different types of chicken wire as you can see in the skirt i need to show you the skirt because someone's going to say i want to see the skirt because it it's important to show what i do it's kind of hard to get out of this thing all right that's that's our rooster <laughs> Hey, he has been getting violent lately. All right, so all around here we've got the skirt. Uh, it it is uh, u nailed to the bottom and goes all the way around. And I went ahead and come out to here, but right here is going to be where we do bunny food. We couldn't decide where, where we wanted to put it. You like my camo? <laughs> the, the girls wanted pink and blues and purples and. Anyways, but it's mostly the girl and the boy, you know, they're going to have their bunnies and stuff. And then coming back, show you real quick, overall, how she turned out. That's, that's it right there. Pretty cut and dry, simple. I guess this is going to be the hidden video section. And the, if you stuck around this long, you get to hear me rant or just talk things I think about once again now i can go out there and i could snare up coyotes you know i could go to freaking outside mcdonald's parking lot and probably snag a coyote just throwing it out there i could i don't know, raccoons digging in the trash can they're everywhere okay but when a collapse happens when when it's total chaos i mean when it's when this this you know riot stuff and things like that that's one thing i'm i'm talking about when there's a food crisis and it's just getting it's it's gotten to the point that it's so bad that you can't find food because just like the great depression deer had almost become extinct everything well i think it was like it was very slim pickings for anyone who wanted meat it was very slim pickings and I don't want to be in that situation. And that's why I don't want to go off. You know how many survivalists are going to go into the woods and hunt and gather and snare and trap and use a bow? You know, it. it's not, and you know, for some of that stuff, it's, I don't even, I don't even think of that as any alternative name like survivalist or survival that is strictly a hunter hunting. That's it, you know? And in some cases, I mean, I could drive down the road. I saw four raccoons on the side of the road. I could have picked them all up and threw them in the back and just kept them, right? The point is, you need food. And you need meat. You need protein. You're going to need rabbits. You're going to need chickens. You're going to need eggs. Some folks are allergic to eggs. I just found that the other day. I didn't know that. It's like the like, egg whites or something. Someone just told me that. It happens. You know, people are allergic to stuff chicken meat you know you can still raise chickens and still eat chickens but how many do you need right it's just something to think about to have food on hand you know when you're not going to the supermarket anymore you can't just open up your deep freeze and look down in there for something that you've bought months ahead you're gonna go out there you're gonna snap a neck and you're gonna clean a chicken just saying it's just like that and you're gonna do the same thing when it comes to rabbits. Rabbits multiply fast, <laughs> real fast, like the saying goes, right? But rabbits will multiply fast and you'll have a ton of them. And before you know it, you know, you got more than you can handle and you're having to sell a few or give, give them away. But that's usually how rabbits end up. And that's kind of how we're gonna start off. We'll start off small. This is a simple little thing, simple PVC pipe. It's real cheap, it's real easy to make. It might cost you on average a hundred bucks easy to, to make something like this. And it might cost you a bit more. It just depends on, you know, if you've got any scrap lumber and stuff, I try and use as much scrap stuff as I can. And when it comes to fencing, I try and buy the most affordable I can, the cheapest that I can get that's still in the right gauge that won't fall apart or rust, right? But anyways, it's another easy project for you. Tell me if you like these projects. Tell me if it's helping you. Let me know. Because, you know, I, 
I spend hours filming this stuff and most of this stuff will take me an entire week it will take me an entire week of just putting something together to show you guys this is an idea for you this is how ours turned out and uh, some folks will uh, will give the negatory you know kind of they don't they don't really care for that sort of thing it's it's not in their wheelhouse it's not something they want to know it, they're you know there's there's a lot of folks out there that would just rather take a um, a small fanny pack and run into the woods <laughs> we've got to be that extreme or not even a fanny pack just a knife maybe some paracord <laughs> all right that's all i got god bless you guys take care